and then everything magically got better and everything just ended perfectly and they all lived happily ever after. I'm Bella and welcome to Ernie Bell. Today we are back with Book Corner. We are up to the third one and uh, let's jump into it. So this month I read The Zodiac, a novel by Romina Russell. And um, so yeah, let's just, let's just do the synopsis and then we'll get into the star rating. So, <clears throat> in a galaxy where your sign determines which planet you call home, Ro, the young guardian of cancer must find a way to unite the divided houses of the Zodiac before an ancient evil destroys them all. But who will believe anything this young novice says? Whom can Ro trust in a universe divined by differences? And how can she convince twelve worlds to unite as one Zodiac? So, um, my star rating is a 7.5, and I'm just going to do the flash synopsis. Well, the flash review. So I actually really liked this book. Um, I mean, I I've got some questions. Like, for example, if your zodiac decides where you live, does that, like, how are... Because people live with their families. They've pointed that out, like, Ro, our main character, has a brother, Stanton, a dad, a mom, and Matthias, our one of our other main characters, has parents and two sisters. And it's just, do they plan their pregnancies, or... So they're, like, born at the right time? Or how does that work? Or it's because they're born in the constellation that counts? I, I, I kind of am curious. Because that either means that everybody's birthday is at the same time, or your zodiac isn't depending on when you're born in the year like we do it. It's depending on what star constellation you're born literally in. Okay. With my main question about this whole universe put aside... This book is a really nice marriage between sci-fi and fantasy. Like, I wasn't expecting the sci-fi. I'll admit that. Like, I, I was blindsided by it, but I enjoyed it. I'm, I'm a science nerd. And uh, the fact that I was able to get those two together and have it be harmonious was actually kind of nice. So, our three main characters, I'm going to give you a little heads up, are Ro Grace, Matthias, Tyus or Thias? I don't know, because it's like, his last name and his actual name are like the same, except for his first name has a ma on the beginning. So is it Matthias Tyus or Matthias Thias? Because I, I was trying to, I, I was debating between that. And then our third main character is Heisen Dax. He is from a different house. Spoiler alert. And, um, yeah. So speaking of spoiler alerts, let's go into the spoiler zone. Don't get me wrong. Like, I know I uh, tend to be a negative Nelly and focus on the negative, but I really liked this book. I mean, there's one thing, though, that, like, the characters are definitely very, like, well-defined and almost too well-defined. So that way, when characters act out of character, there's one moment where it's just too out of character for Ro. She literally... You know, we're in the spoiler zone, might as well drop it. So there's this love triangle. Every time a love triangle happens, it hurts my heart a little. And by a little, I mean a lot. I hate love triangles. Like, I mean, I guess there's a way to do it, but it always ends up being very tropey. And that's just something I can't get into and I can't dig, and that's the only reason why I wasn't like, yes, this book is everything. Because there's just... Love triangles, man. I, I, I can't, ex I just, so, Ro, Roma Grace, is, a uh, in love with Matthias. She's been in love with him since he was a college student, basically, and she was a 13-year-old who would just watch him from afar, and then they were separated for a couple of years, and then he ends up being her advisor, and then Heisen shows up. This is going to be a really unpopular opinion, but I don't like Heisen and Ro together. Like, I don't dislike Heisen. He's nice. But I just, I can't see him as more than a friend. 
I feel as though they took their relationship in the wrong way. They have this attraction to one another. But I think it shouldn't have been a romantic one. I don't think they should have treated it as a romantic one. And that's the massive problem that I have with this. Because then, I mean, I guess I was pulling for Matthias. But I don't think that was biased enough to dislike the Heisen Roma relationship. And Ro gets really bad news. And then off together and they just, um, they hook up. I I'm not against that. It's just, it was too loud character for Ro. Ro is all about nurturing and caring about the people around her. And to be honest, it's just too... It just disregards Matthias completely way too much, and it's like he doesn't even exist. And I get that's probably part of the point, and the entire point is the fact that she's not herself. She's distraught. But it's just a little too far out. Kissing? Yeah, that would've been fun. Heavy makeout session? Yeah, I could've seen that happening. But going all the way? Just... It's, it, it was just too out of character. It's just too far. And that's like my biggest complaint about this entire book. Like, this book is one of those ones where it's like, it has action, but it's not like, action, yeah, action. No, it's never like that. It's, the pages turn themselves practically, and it just keeps rolling because there are plot twists all throughout it, and some of them are subtle, some of them are big enough and intense, but at the same time, you never go, oh, that was predictable. I mean, a little bit on some of the stuff, but not to the point where you're like, saw that coming 10 miles away. You, you can see it from like a mile, but not 10. And, uh, yeah, I, I like this book. It had action, had plot twists. And, you know, if you like slow burn romance, there's some of that in here. But if you like flash heat romance, it's in there too all in one book, but it, it, it's, I liked it, I digged it, and, um, so now we're gonna go extra deep into the spoiler zone. So, Matthias dies, and you know, I, I was rooting for Matthias, I really did, like, I dig Matthias a lot, but the thing is, I don't think he's dead, like, that's just my prediction, I haven't read the sequel yet, Wandering Star, ah, I'm just, I'm curious where this is going. But I just, I have this feeling he's not dead. Like, there's no way he should have been able to survive. But I think he will have. It's Matthias. So, another thing is, like, I'm not sure if I want to read the sequel. You know how you just read a book and you're like, I'm content with this. I'm content with the ending. The, the ends aren't all tied up in pretty little bows, but they're at least collected so you know they're there. You know all the ends are there and they're in, like, little shabby knots. Maybe not pretty bows, and I'm not I'm not criticizing them, I'm just saying it's not pretty bows, it doesn't end on sunshine and happiness. But I don't like books that just end, and then everything magically got better, and everything just ended perfectly, and they all lived happily ever after. No, I'm not into that. So, Harmony doesn't want to read the sequel, because I like where it ended, just like, I'm content with where it ended. At the same time, I want to know, because I did some more research on this, and there's three books. Didn't know that! Because I was like, okay, I can see this being taken to a sequel. But I now need to know what happens in that sequel in order to warrant two more books. Two! Two more books after the sequel. So, three more! Four books! That's that's a whole saga! So, I need to know. Because the fourth book refers to basically the main bad guy finally rising and it's just like four books for that to happen. What is all happening on the meantime? Who are we gonna meet? What's gonna happen? I wanna know, but I don't wanna ruin the way this ended, because I'm content. And I have a feeling that if I read, I'm not gonna be content with the way it ends, and I'm gonna be salty at the end, because, like, I like the ending of the book. The last line irritates me a little bit because of all the people whose lives she could have sworn on, so she swears on that person. Really? I just, I feel like that's another thing where it's, like, very disconnected. But at the same time, thinking with who Ro is as a person, it's not. But at the same time, it's a little slightly too disconnected. But not. Nah. If any of that makes sense. So, Zodiac, a novel. I highly recommend. I dig it, and so that's all I got for you. Zodiac. Read it if you like sci-fi and fantasy, because it's a good marriage. If you like both those things... And our second time bringing stories that are 
well, botch science, but you know, if we botch the science, magic will come through and fix it. That's not like this. This does not do that. And I appreciate that. So, um, yeah, that's all I got for you, and see ya.